if you want to make a career of privacy so cipp is the main goal jamal has given you the hands jamal has given you the knowledge but that is up to you chetan you have to do it you have to carry yourself to from one end to the another Hello and welcome to another episode of the Privacy Pros podcast. I'm your host Jamal Ahmed, founder and lead trainer at the Privacy Pros Academy, and I'm thrilled to have you listening to me from whichever part of the world you're listening to me from right now. And I also recently became the number one international best-selling author for the Easy Peasy Guide to the GDPR. Today on the podcast, we'll be talking to one, a very special person, someone who have had a time to spend some um, time with, someone who have had a opportunity to mentor and add value to and someone that's actually inspired not just me but many people across the academy and today he's here to share his story with you so if you're relating to any of those challenges that he once had you can learn how to overcome them and when you listen to his story and how inspiring he actually is it gives you the belief that if Chaitan did can have these achievements then every single one of us can and he's going to share his strategies and what really helped him to go from where he was to where he is now thriving at a data protection consultancy so our guest today is Chaitan Deep S Batra a dynamic individual with a diverse range of talents and passions as a CP certified professional lawyer motivational speaker and an award winning author he has already achieved a great deal at such a young age born and raised in india chaitan's upbringing instilled him in a strong work ethic and a passion for creativity throughout Currently, Chaitan Deep is working with Baker Tilly as an associate consultant in data privacy and protection, and his ambition and determination are evident in all of his pursuits and his commitment allowed him to become a privacy professional, making the pivot from a conventional legal practitioner in just a short span of time. At 27 years old, Chaitan's success is not just limited to his privacy professional accomplishments. Through his motivational speaking, he inspires others to always look on the bright side of life and to pursue their dreams with passion and perseverance. Chaitan, welcome to the Privacy Pros podcast. Thank you so much, Jamal. Thank you so much for having me. It's a privilege to be on this wonderful, wonderful podcast. Definitely, yes. Now, a little bird tells me that it's your birthday month. So tell me, what's your favorite birthday tradition or birthday memory that you cherish? Uh, definitely. See, uh, August has always been special to me because of my birthday month. And uh, August has been given so much abundant uh, gifts to my life and my journey. It was uh, just uh, amazing. So the most adorable uh, birthday memory I would like to share is uh, when I was six years old. So I just wanted myself a captain america toy you know i just i just relished so that grateful that uh, that uh, that piece of toy so i just was wondering that i just want that i want and my mother brought it uh, on my birthday and that was just a dream come from to it was just amount um, small but it was just so beautiful and so inspiring in that case and from that dream to today's dream i got that when i will be earning and i will be starting my own career and just be glorifying my world so i just want to create my own captain america self in me and that's why i am here so you can see the surroundings uh, so you can see the surroundings and everything like that uh, i am in my captain america's den so i just cherish to be here that's the thing i have built uh, on my own uh, when i am starting earning in the privacy world definitely yes Okay, wow. And I remember just before you came on you were saying as a reward for uh, as a reward to yourself for all of the yeah. achievements that you had, one thing that you promised yourself was you would upgrade your room uh once you receive your first salary in your yes. ID role which you've achieved. And yes. now looking behind you, I can see you have this amazing themed Captain America room with the sheet with all of the colors, even the cushion. Uh yeah. so how does it feel to finally have achieved that? See when when you are in the perseverance of achieving that now it becomes a dream for you when when it becomes a reality and you start to dream it again that how i went through that dream and then then the reality happened so that's the thing i just feel on top of the world when i uh, with my first salary in the previous world i just wanted to create my own america's uh, captain america's den so i am here uh, very much proud of myself and everyone from the previous pros so that's the thing because of everyone that who helped me in this journey 
very privileged to be here. That's why, yes, definitely. Okay, awesome achievement. Now, right now you're on top of the world, but however, it wasn't always like that, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't like that. Uh, if I would uh, reel my back, uh, my life back to one year, so I never knew that privacy, the profession in privacy exists. So that's the very major point for me. Uh, one year back, if I take myself, I was suffering through a low confidence. Uh, I was suffering through a relatively not a perspective of life that I wanted every time I wanted. So in pursuance of that, I just wanted that ki I, uh, the personal growth uh, that was missing inside. Uh, I was working as a junior associate uh, lawyer. As a, I was working as a conventional legal practitioner. But still, I was getting the things, but the clarity, the confidence that the work I have was doing was not up to the mark. Uh, I once in a day, I saw myself in the mirror. I thought, Chetan, you are made some, for something else. Uh, you are not made for this. So I just gone and reverted myself back and then started uh, to build my journey from scratch. And then one found day, I just explored my life into privacy. And from that very day, I have been going unstoppable. Just like you say, you are a fire, Chetan. So uh, that's the thing. From that perspective to today's, my life is just completely changed. Definitely, yes. All right, so let, 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 let me make sure I've understood you correctly. So uh, a, a year ago, before we met, before even you pre access existed, yes. you was doing a legal role and you wasn't fulfilled, uh, you wasn't enjoying the work and yeah. you felt like you had much more to give. And when you looked at your mirror, you realized, Chetan Deep, what are you doing? You're made for much better things. What was it about the role that was really frustrating you? Or what was it about that time that you thought like, I should be doing much better? So the role was repetitive. I ha so my job was in the in the legal sector was to carry my uh, carry the corporate files of my senior advocate to the courts. So to the to the law courts. So there was nothing that I could do. I was just a butler serving my uh, serving my senior. So that's the thing. Uh, and and I asked myself, this is not the thing that I wanted. So. I know there's a slow progress in legal side. I understand we have to build some connections and that. But when I was trying, I tried to be more pleasant and I tried to be more calm. But in that continuity, I just was losing interest in myself. I was thinking, what, what, why I am here? How I am here? Why is it so? Why me? So that's the thing. So when I choose to be more convenient and rational towards my life, I... I got some uh, problems and that I have to face. And then I just uh, went through some bad times uh, and then recapitalizing myself and then capturing the deed I would be going for. That was previously, I was destined to be here, definitely, yeah. So you found yourself in a very mundane role that didn't require you to really um, have I didn't really give you an opportunity to add your own strengths, add your own skills, everything that you'd gone to law school for. And you found yourself in a situation where you was really frustrated and you was like, you know what? There's so much more value to the world I can bring rather than just being yes. a, an assistant to somebody. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do a role that is meaningful. I want to make a difference and I want to feel challenged. And I guess that's what was missing. And then you came across yes. lots of different challenges. And Throughout that process, what you found was your confidence was depleting. You was filled with self-doubt. And it got to a point where you said, you know what? Enough is enough. This is not what I was made for. And yes. you decided to pursue uh, or you decided to pursue a quest. And that was a quest to find yourself a career, something meaningful, something that you can be proud of. So how did you come across data privacy? Uh, that's a very interesting story. I met one of the person on LinkedIn. So his name is Anurag Sushan. We are, we might know him on the, in the privacy world. He's a very good person. There's a good, good professional. So he helped me introduce the fact about privacy. He told me that privacy is future and we must capitalize on that. And from that very point in September, I met him through, through the interactions of month long interactions with him. I just got to know that this will fuel my worries and this will fuel my passion for something that would I have been long admired that have been made for. So from that very perspective, I, uh, in the month of October, I joined the 
uh, MBA in the data protection and privacy from Rome School. So I have from that point I have constantly been learning each and every aspect from scratch and all the things that have been come up is because I chose to be with privacy and I chose to be uh, and I just wanted to be a perfect world class privacy pro as you say Jamal that's the thing so that was the main criteria and main idea of my life to be uh, and getting the things done in my own way that I wanted yes. All right. So you, 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 once you decided you wanted to do something, you thought, let's go onto LinkedIn. It's a professional platform. Let's get yeah. some ideas of some career changes. And yes. you came across um, the gentleman Anurag, uh, based in the Middle East. He's doing some amazing work, doing lots of valuable stuff for Privacy Pro. So make sure you will connect with him. And yes. he's the one that really inspired you to say, hey, you know what, Chaitan? Privacy needs you. Like there's a whole world out there. Privacy is the future. Have a look into it. And the more you looked into it, the more you got excited. And then you decided, yes. you know what? This is my path. And so this you enrolled for an MBA. Um, so how did your MBA go? MBA is going pretty well. I would like to say that I am uh, from in my class. I am on the top top list. So I would be very proud of myself and all thanks to privacy pros and definitely the people who have been helping me throughout. That's a tremendous achievement for me. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you enrolled in the MBA, but then you came and you found the Privacy Pros Academy. Yes. Uh, that's quite a lot to take on. So how did you, what led you to finding the Privacy Pros Academy? And coming in? I already told you about LinkedIn. I was interacting with people from privacy, uh, privacy uh, domain. So I have been interacting with fewer persons. I have been talking to them lately. But uh, I wanted a mentor for myself. So the, the mentor I was looking for, the, who can guide me on the path of privacy. See, Anurag was there to support me, but someone was to be there that who can guide me in the in a positive way around. So from that, I started to explore um, my uh, ambitions for privacy and finding my right mentor. And then the one day I countered your profile, Jamal. I just clicked on it and I just went through your profile. And uh, you have some shared some privacy pros uh, podcast. So it's a great achievement for me. Uh, so then. And I interacted with you and the point I interacted, I got energy in myself. I got so much strength in myself that this person, I just have interacted with him and I am so much positive right now. And if I could be joining his academy, I could be joining his the certification programs, how it would be so awesome that it can help me grow in privacy and, and live my dream life in future. Definitely. Yes, that was a thing right now. In that perspective, okay, so there, there must have been in between. So you came across my LinkedIn profile. Uh, yeah. We had some you know, kind of interactions. You saw some of my posts. You listened yes. to some of the podcast. What was it about the content that uh, you received or that you was consuming uh, from the podcast or that that really inspired you and energized you? Yes. So when I went through your profile, you shared me. When I interacted, you shared me your easy peasy guide. That was a gold for gold standard for me. So I went through it. And one fine day when I revisited your profile, now I was when I was looking to get mentorship by you, I was going through the mission you have been enthralling to the mission that you have been designing for yourself for the future of privacy. So that very much entangled me that filled the energy in me. And I wanted that the same mission uh, uh, accordingly, perspectively, not same, I would be saying inspire from you i just wanted to create on myself on in my life also in the whole world's life also so that was the main point i felt connected with you and listening to the podcast and then going through the resources you shared with me initially before i even enrolled to the program of one of the certification program so that was just an opportunity for me grabbing the things my god saying uh, just go with Jamal that he will guide you to the best output that you can ever imagine. Yes, that was a thing. So then you got in touch with us to enroll for the academy. Uh, what, and obviously you had to find an investment and it was significant investment. Yeah. Uh, what made you say, yes, I want to sign up to the academy? Like, what, How did you know it was the right thing for you? What so, was the trigger at that point? So the comfort level when you interact with the one person, na, you get a comfortability level that this person, he can guide me in a, in a way around that it can help, help me grow and help me secure my dream, my life and my future that holds for me. 
so when i when i went through podcast you talked about previously as a future when you talked about gdpr and you got about a uh, previously rise that has been explored in the all world right now and awareness you have been spreading so it got me a instant click that this is the right person this is the person who can help you he can help you understand because so there are many training providers i would like to say but still there was a, some spark in you that helped me choose you to be my mentor and i think that was the best decision of my life i guess you're very kind i'm 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 very i'm, I'm blushing right now you can see it from this. <laughs> uh, you're too kind jay tandeep but yes i i I'm, I'm so happy that it actually worked out for you uh, and so look you you joined you, you joined the academy and then we spent some time together we did the training you met the whole community when you first joined the academy what were your first impressions so uh, when i first interacted with ananya so she's so much down to earth person she just told me if you have any queries call me at any time message me any time i will be definitely there for you and you jamal you always be there for me but the thing was ki the comfortability level that you gave me and before the training it was in the month of january and february i guess so uh, you gave the confidence for me that before the training i should go through all the things that you have been providing uh, the case law the gdpr guide and the book and all the necessary things that you provided to me so i was so much uh, engaged from the day one and i just got into the subject and whenever i had doubts and we have the community you know we have the whole community i i i got so much doubts when i was reading the gdpr for the very first time so every single time a question would come to my mind the community would help me solve that perspective question and i was so happy that these people these people are thinking for me these people are growing with me and these people are my inspiration to take this forward uh, to take tech things to the next level so that was the main uh, point and that energy that was having i was already confident but day by day i was generating more confidence in me and, and on top of it i just was super amazed to be part of previc pros the international academy that has been helping so much so many people in the previc domain yes thank you for sharing that so you was inspired by the people around you and you found the community aspect of it very supportive and you also mentioned you had the resources um that yes. was helping you to build your confidence day by day you said you was growing your confidence day by day and one of the things that you mentioned that you got really you really were engrossed was some of the resources that i created for the people that come join us at the privacy pros academy so you mentioned the case summaries the enforcement actions the easy peasy guide to the gdpr what yes. was it about these resources that is different to other resources that you've come across if there is anything the, different the main point you would be highlighting in that case is the easy peasy things that you make jamal that is just way helpful for uh, people like us who are passionate about privacy who want to make our mark and who wants to gather the knowledge in the best language because so my in india we don't have that native language english i have my mother tongue so but in that credibility when i was uh, going through the english uh, the resources you shared so all that stuff was so easy and so much smooth and moreover your five c's that ananya highlighted clarity confidence competence community and credibility so making the things out of it so i got just so much enrolled uh, going through the case laws that was given in so easy language and so clear and understanding so all taking through all the perspective i found it it way much more better than other other persons can be i don't know if they can do they, they, can, they can give us the resources that kind of resources so i am glad i am i was i chose the right person yes okay so then you engrossed yourself in the resources you helped your confidence build up you asked questions to the community people were there happy to help you because everyone in the community wants to help each other out so you joined yes. the right people and you felt like you know what i'm in the right place and that strengthened you and then you came and we did the live training right yes so you you've got engrossed in all of the resources and you got found strength in the community and you're like you know what i'm definitely yes. in the right place and you're feeling yes. excited about the future and then your training starts so that's where we do the live training how yes. was that experience for you definitely that was a 
worth every moment i just in my four hours of that six days i can never forget even in my whole life so that was so amazing so peaceful so i was i know we have been connecting through the online means but i could see myself uh, sitting i uh, sitting alongside you and learning the things so easy peasy so the moment you jumped on to the gdpr and getting the things done from scratch and the history you told i was totally engrossed and the the teaching style you have been helping us because we have international community so people from varied uh, uh, cultures join us too but everyone from the world when i was in the class so i feel so connected that these people i know them these are very these are, they're very kind to me and these can help me understand more better even after the training get over so your training gave me the clarity i could never can never be imagined in my uh, dreams i guess <laughs> all right so, so you you got loads of clarity from the training and how did that help you moving forward so uh, in the month of march i completed my training so uh, from that very aspect i was clear that i have to the training is good that you have gained the knowledge but in, uh, and then improvising it for the exam that was the main crucial part of my uh, my journey so day by day so i was working so but one thing i just made to myself that if you want to make a career of privacy so cipp is the main goal jamal has given you the hands jamal has given you the knowledge but that is up to you chetan you have to do it you have to carry yourself to from one end to another so from that very point i just engrossed every day two hours i would just implement it in my uh, day at the night i would go through all the things that you have been teaching every uh, every day two hours and the weekend time i get fully engrossed in that and the, slowly and steadily the things went so much amazing and the support that uh, ananya and uh, you gave me during my uh, my pre rehearsals of the exam so it was so convenient for me to get the things to, to another point and in the month of uh, uh, march i had my cip certification in my hand i was so happy jamal i was i couldn't even imagine that this could be happen to me i just was feeling so great i can i can tell you i, I guess yes that was a very big achievement and it was happy to, i remember aranya calling me and saying chaitan's mom called me <laughs> and she was so happy and like we was all in tears so it was very uh, very, very moving uh, in moment Uh, yes. to celebrate that success because we've all following your journey from when you started to yeah. how you've grown and how you developed and like you changed in front of my eyes during the training like i i could see you growing taller and taller as each day was going past and by the end of it you was like a completely new solid person on fire ready to Indeed. go conquer the world so you you've completed the training you've got your certification and now you've got your first role how do you think things might have been different if you hadn't come across the academy uh see uh, as you know i was doing the mba so mba program was about 18 months so even if i had to get my uh, to get started my previous career so it would take around 18 months for me to make a movement out of it and when the cipp i just when you uh, when we were when we introduced uh, on linkedin so you told me about cipp cipm and cip us so i was pretty much confused that what certification i should pick right now so when i went through all the uh, research and my own perspective asking from my colleagues and uh, everything like else i chose to be with cipp so because coming from a legal background as a conventional lawyer so i had to change my career switch my career to privacy and that cipp certification was a gold standard for me to switch to make the outcome in my way do uh, to uh, uh, drive drift the things in my way so slowly and steadily i got it and the cipp certification that i have been always dreaming of and in in the flick of that i was just certified i was just glad i just couldn't control my movements that that day i can never forget in my life i just informed everybody i cleared my cipp and then landing the first role after it because Uh, people say that you don't get a job it's not easy to get in privacy but 
if i would say that now if you have the certifications if you want to make a switch if you want to start a career cipp is the best way around you can ever imagine uh, to make your life come true in privacy so i would suggesting everyone every listener who is in the uh, on the listening to this podcast go for the cipp certification if you are a newbie don't think of jamal is here i am here just you can connect with us and definitely we can help you provide a better life that you have been always dreaming of yes now there's so many people who have the cipp certification but they're still yes. tr- struggling to get roles what do you think the difference was between you who were certified and other people who are also so, certified so why was it so easy for you and why is it so difficult for other people definitely so uh, if i would say i got my first job in just 45 days uh, so i am telling this in this podcast i got three offers on that very day on that very day when i joined this company so uh, one was the healthcare company one was the another mobile company and then it was baker tilly uh, who i uh, i was eager to join and was my dream company also i would say so in that perspective the people struggling because they don't have they can they are unable to execute themselves in a way that that the uh, that the company desires them see cipp certification is a one thing and making your own credibility to uh, enter that company and making the efforts come true was is a different thing so when i was giving the interviews when i was going through the rough patch i would not a rough patch i would say a good patch that was everything is experience i guess in this privacy world so ananya helped me they helped me uh, there was not her, her knowledge was not limited to only teaching only the c for cipp she helped me throughout the on the back end support she gave me for the interviews for the cv creation and all the questions i could ask the uh, the interviews could ask me in the uh, during the interview session so ananya helped me prepare for it Uh, everyone in the community helped me prepare for it because i was asking questions i was pretty active in that at that time i was looking that i got a chance to enter in the domain and one such day i just clicked it i just i was just wondering that i made it nothing more than that happens then <laughs> nothing more than matters to me at that moment yes all right awesome thank you that sounds like such a powerful uh, journey that you've been on so what you're saying is the reason why some people struggle even though they're certified and uh someone like you found it much easier um it, it, it isn't just about having the certification you have to put the effort in and you have yes. to be able to show that you have clarity and you have credibility and you're actually competent in what you do a certification only gets you so far but to actually get those job offers you have to demonstrate that you do know what you're talking about and not that you actually know what you're talking about but you can explain it in a way that other people can understand what you need to do you can speak to stakeholders you can speak to your clients and yes. all of that support you got from your experience at the academy from the support that you got from ananya and the rest of the community and all of that gelled together to help you secure three offers yes definitely it was a pretty much amazing experience i would say so it's been 3 months right now i will complete my 3 months in this company so i am just uh feeling so so real right now i just ever wanted so let me ask you another question did you have any doubts about joining the private pros academy do you think i ever had it you know <laughs> see uh, the main question was uh, to get the see investing in yourself was the main criteria because uh you have the options to upgrade but choosing the right option is the main thing for you so when i i just listened to uh, jamal's podcast and interacting with with him and interact with ananya so i just so much energy right now also whenever i think about you jamal when i ever think about ananya and everyone from the privacy pros i get so energy that this this these are the person who help me to st- build my career from scratch and at that time i would suggest ki i never thought to uh, i will take the train for any other person i just was ki jamal is clear to me jamal understands me jamal inspires me and jamal is the one who will take me ahead so i have never had doubt for, on that all right so you was like okay this is the thing because before i make a decision i always you know have some things that i have to check after doubt and then i have to overcome my doubts but um it seems like you basically locked on pretty much from day one and you was like this is the right option for me and you went all in 
Yes. That okay. was the main. I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah. And I'm grateful this actually worked out for you because <laughs> it had to work out. It it had to work out. See, uh, if you are investing in yourself, if you're investing in so much good mentor, you have you have the credibility to make a path on your own with the help of your mentor. So that will definitely pay off today or tomorrow. The things, the hard work that I have been doing, I know it, it will pay off. So that was the thinking at that time. And right now also, I am just upgrading myself, upgrading myself. I've been interacting with you. I have a part of your book launch also. I am very much uh, congratulations for the best selling book. I would say, Jamal, uh, that was a very big achievement. I that I felt so much proud that I can imagine myself in the world of Jamal in that period only. I am also a bestseller. I would credit myself there. I mean, the book launch team has been absolutely amazing. And maybe we can come back and talk about that another time. Um, so the, 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 the other thing I want to ask you is yes. what been the biggest difference you've seen in yourself since joining the program from before you joined the main thing was the confidence confidence in myself so i was i told you i was working i was just doing some normal jobs i was just getting the salary to my account small amount of salary i would say so at that point of time uh, if i i think about it that if i have not taken the chance to upgrade myself to invest in myself, I would have not been here. I would just been that much lonely and that much non-confident person who don't have the perspective to live his own life. So in that opinion, I am pretty much finding so great to be here in the one year time span. I have achieved so much. I could just never imagine it's a, a dream come true for me, the confidence, the boost i have been getting the motivation that people around me i have been uh, interacting with so it was so so amazing experience i would say that yes thank you thank you so much for sharing and i, I love that it's actually changed your esteem you've got rid of any self-doubt that you had and yes. there's no imposter syndrome anymore and now you're actually confident you know the value that you bring to the world you know the value that you bring to your client you know the value that you bring to your employer and you recognize yeah. for it and you have some great achievements now, one thing you mentioned there was the book launch. Uh, so very, first of all, thank you very much for being part of the book launch team. It was an yeah. amazing experience. And yes. we achieved so much in such a short space of time. And we've actually probably the only first legal book in history to achieve number one international bestseller ahead of release. And that's thanks to people like you on the book launch team. And yes. all, all praise to God first and foremost. What is it about the book that you love so much that you wanted to be part of the book launch team? Uh, see, uh, the basic point to you when you told me that I am right, I have wrote a book and I want to launch. I was just so feeling so proud that Jamal has given so much to this privacy community and now he's giving up his new book to the privacy world, and that would be gold standard for all the privacy enthusiasts. Whenever I have to get some uh, clarity on the perspective of uh, according to the clauses of the GDPR and the sections of the GDPR and the all the recitals. I just pick up your book and I just go through it because it is so easy. So the legal jargon that people have been uh, the GDPR has, so it becomes difficult for uh, many many of the people to get to the in depth knowledge of that and that the language that you have used to clarify that it is just amazing. It is just so understandable. It is just so delightful, I would say. And I, every time I just give a hand to it, I just remember the sections quickly. So that I, I feel privileged to be in the continuation process of the book. And I always in my bookshelf it is present every time i have to go to the gdpr back again i just pick up your book and solve my queries i have wanted ever i, I ever had through my client i guess awesome so i'm happy that you've uh, all read the book but you're also using it as a reference guide because that's exactly what i intended is whenever you have a challenge when i have to explain something to a client when we need a bit of clarity because look we don't deal with all 99 articles every single day right uh, sometimes you might not come across something and sometimes a challenge might come from a client the way they mm -hmm. are struggling with the legal ease. so it's there as a reference guide to make things easy peasy make things easy to understand and really just give us direction so i'm so glad that it's actually helping you uh, in your role and you're getting value and you're also providing value with it now at the end of the podcast as you know the guests always get an opportunity to ask me a question so chaitan 
what would you like to ask me? I also wanted to ask you how it feels you to be inviting me as a guest speaker. I just wanted that. Uh, if I can ask that. <laughs> Yeah, great question. What does it feel like to be able to invite you to come on the podcast? You know, the reason I started the Privacy Pros Academy is because I love helping people. I love helping people grow and I found that I actually get more fulfillment and passion from helping one person go from one step to the second step. And that is fascinating. But when I can help people like you and other people and hundreds of people of the world, and then I can actually bring you back on the podcast so you can share your story and inspire other people. It's so rewarding. And it, that's what really energizes me. Like all of you, when you come to the training, you feel like I'm energizing you. But actually, it's all of you guys that really energize me. When I see you growing, when I see you getting those aha moments and those moments of clarity, and that you're really excited about your privacy career and moving forward, that's what really energizes me. So having you on the podcast is such a pleasure and a privilege, but it's an also an honor because it's your living proof that you can go from being in a mediocre role where you're not fulfilled, where you don't have the knowledge, but with the right effort and the right guidance, as long as you put the hard work in, you can achieve amazing results and you can change your world around and you can go in to inspire people all across the yes. world. Now, Chayton, I know I've asked you all the questions, but here's one last question for you. This podcast goes out to over 132 countries in the world, right? For everybody listening, every single person who's ever felt frustrated, who's ever been told no, who has that self-doubt, who's been told that they can't amount to anything, what is one message of inspiration that you have for them? Never stop dreaming. So even if you are stuck, even if you are confused, even if you are unable to gather yourself in the right place, I would say the time heals everything. Just give, just believe in yourself and maintain the discipline to upgrade yourself in every way you want. So you have one life, just live it. The dreams, the, the ambitions that the person has must not let be unfulfilled. So I just want every person uh, to, to dream just like me. I just I give you an example. You can dream whatever you want. But this was my dream one year back. I was I told you this. I had nothing, and today I have so much. I have Jamal with me. So the 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 king of data protection with me. So that's the thing. Just never stop dreaming, and dreams will definitely come true to life. Yes. Wow, absolutely amazing and inspiring. So keep dreaming, guys. And if you're uh, inspired by Chaitan and you want to find out more or you want to reach out to him, he's available on LinkedIn. And if you're part of our community or if you want to become part of our community and have the same support that Chaitan did, then get in touch with Ananya, get in touch with myself. We'll tell your options and if we can help you, we'll tell you. And if not, we'll point you in the right direction. Either way, we're always happy to take your questions. We're always happy to provide you in the right direction and make the most of all of the free resources that we have, the podcast, the YouTube channel, all of the documents and guides, and just immerse yourself. And when you're ready, get in touch. Until next time, peace be with you.